All right, back out at Marsh. Um, and it rained last night. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Every time I plan on going to Marsh, it rains. Um, you know, thankfully it's fairly dry today. And, uh, you know, there's a guy up at the bowl right now with a squeegee. So uh, it should be really nice, uh, you know, come noon. It's supposed to get into the 80s today. So it'll be a nice day for skating this afternoon, but this morning it's gonna be pretty wet. So I'm still on the Aeons. Um, you know, the more that I think about them, uh, I recorded a podcast on uh, on Friday night with Ben, uh, backtoblaining.com slash podcast if you want to listen. Um, and we were talking about the Aeons. He's, he's a huge Aeon fan. And um, just how much I love these skates. You know, the, the fact that they're so low profile, the fact that the frame is connected to the boot, it really makes this like super solid feeling when you're skating. The liner is great. Uh, you know, it's got the 45 degree strap. Um, it's a really impressive, uh, impressive skate. Let's, you know, I knew this with the 72s, but the 60s, they just feel so much better. Um, if you're in the market for new skates, I think it's worth looking into. I think, I mean, the frames are the thing. Like, I, and I get it, like, you need to have a single piece mold. You can't do UFS and still keep this same rigidity feeling, the same low profile, but, Man, I wish something like this were available in UFS so that I could uh, switch out the frames. So plan today, uh, I'm gonna try to hit that ledge. Um, you know, I, I always do my first impression videos at Durham and um, you know, I know that park really well. It's got a little bit of a mix of transitions, some gaps, some ledges, things like that. So um, I, I know it and I can compare the skates from, you know, one skate to another skate and it's the same obstacles. But um, one thing that Durham doesn't have is a really nice ledge where you can get some speed and do a long grind. Um, Marsh is great for that. Uh, it's got this really nice, slightly curved ledge. Um, it's got a flat ledge uh, that, you know, isn't too high so you can uh, warm up on it. Um, it's a really great skate park for skating ledges. Um, and then there's a little bowl. I, I, I mean, it's going to be wet today, so I don't think it's going to be really skatable, but um, we'll check it out. Oh, I mean, I've never been to Marsh where it was this wet. Uh, you know, there's two guys down there. Um, I offered to help out. They weren't really talking to me, but it's the right thing to do. Um, I, don't think, I don't think they said a word to me, to be honest. But uh, I swept. I'm not planning on skating up there anyway, but oh well. My good turn for the day. Uh, this ledge over at Marsh, um, it's pretty buckled right now. There's a lot of rust on top, so... I brought my uh, my cleaning cloth with the power of rainbows, and uh, I'm gonna go to town. <laughs> All, right. All right, the ledge is nice. That first Mizu, I mean, I don't know what it is about these skates. Maybe, maybe that's the ledge because every other skate, uh, every other grind was fine. But um, that first, that first grind on these skates, second time in a row, it's just been kind of stuck. Um, definitely felt better though after a couple grinds. Man, that true Mizu. <laughs> I, I flubbed the top part, but I was on so good I thought I could three off. That's uh, that's hard. I bet I could do it, but 
It's a hard trick. All right, let's do some uh, some groove tricks. That felt great. I don't think um, I don't think I've ever done a backside royale that solid before. Um, it just—I mean, this ledge. You know, when you lock on good, you lock on really good. Um, you know, you get on top of it, and like just that subtle curve really keeps you locked in. Uh, it felt great. The farve too. I've never—I uh, haven't done a farve in these skates. Um, felt amazing. You know, just balanced on. No, uh, no issues. Yeah, I uh, I can't believe I'm skating flat 60s. It's a it's a weird feeling. All right, so gonna do kind. I hope uh, it's a pretty tall ledge for me, but tallest ledge I've ever kind grinded. So let's see uh, let's see if I can pull it off. So technically, it should be easier, right? Because it's higher. I don't have to jump as much. Oh, it's too close. I'm... All right, all right. <laughs> oh man, this is it. All right, all right, all right. I'm good. All right. Close. Almost. Ah. Ah. All right, I'm opening up right. <laughs> How did I stay on? So, so that was scary. Um, not the falling, like I didn't fall that much. It's just that approach. You know, this is the tallest ledge I've tried. There's, um, there's just a lot of risk, you know, for me. I'm sure that some people, you know, have topside tricks, you know, like I have my soul, but this is a weird feeling for me. Um, I did land a few of them that felt like, you know, after I locked on, I was able to square myself out. I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing for a while, is just kind of jump on and then find my, uh, find my lock. Um, almost like a, uh, like a power slide, you know, where you do the, um, like a power slide stop. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know that I'm going to be able to jump on flat anytime soon, but you know what, if I roll a little bit and then adjust a flat, I'll, I'll take it. I think that's fine. I mean, especially for me just learning. Um, all right, here goes a few more. That's it, that's it. Stay on. Almost. No hands this time. Oh, that was a bad jump. Come on. Close. I'm like, I'm like this. God damn it. Look at me. King of the world. Almost. Alright. 
That felt good. Kind grinds, man. Who knew? I didn't think I had it in me, but um, a little bit more speed. I would have been able to ride it a little better. That felt great. Anyway, uh, loving these Aeons. They're, um, they're great skates. Uh, if you are looking for a flat setup, um, love the wish frames and obviously love my balance frames, but this is, you know, no compromise. You can do the same. I mean, I did the same grinds. You can do the same grinds riding juice blocks as you can on these. Um, I mean, my backside Royale has never felt so good. Uh, I've never been able to kind grind. So yeah, very, very happy with these 60 mil Aeons. Uh, Thanks guys for all the recommendations over the over the last year and a half for me to get them. Uh, anyway, uh, podcast uh, tomorrow night. Uh, sorry, tomorrow Monday. Uh, back to billion.com slash podcast. Also, um, I'm doing a thing, uh, a live stream in uh, uh, at my house called uh, Gear Talk, where I'm going to answer some questions that uh, have been asked in the YouTube channel. Um, tune in. Uh, it's going to be 9 p.m. on uh, Wednesday night, uh, Eastern time. Uh, I'm going to live stream, so tune into the YouTube uh, and ask some questions. I really uh, have a lot of things that I want to talk about, but it's really hard on a podcast uh, because I need to show you, and it's really hard on a video because uh, it's just a lot of work. So um, 9 o'clock Eastern, uh, Wednesday night. Uh, hope to see you there. Uh, if not, see you guys next week.